Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. It's once again time to delve into the PlayStation Plus offerings coming up in January 2018. Every single one of these titles will be available to download from Wednesday the 3rd of January. We have a pretty good month ahead of us, with a AAA action RPG, a Dark Knight Crime Fest, a few point and click graphic novels, an arena shooter for the PSVR and a pixel art horror outing. That's enough of that, let's look at the game starting with the beauties on PS4. First up is an absolute masterpiece, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, set in the cyberpunk near future where man and machine are fused together to create augmented humans with superhero abilities. Deus Ex acts like a role playing game as you, the player, decides which mods to install and upgrade. If you want to dual wield blades of death from your arms, then go for it. Fancy taking it stealthy? Then grab the cloaking tech to turn invisible for a short period of time. Mankind Divided has something for every playstyle, which gives Deus Ex great replayability. The core combat, hacking, stealth and social interactions to name a few. Plus all the mods and gun customization to keep even a hardened Warframe player happy. The game's narrative is quite compelling too, with the decisions and actions you have taken during your playthrough impacting the ending cinematic. There's variations to each of these, but there's a good, bad and an alternative ending to unlock. Deus Ex is only one year old, first releasing in late 2016 and receiving a heap of awards and Game of the Year nominations, and impressive review scores with IGN awarding Mankind Divided 9.2 out of 10. You have to give this one a try, it is worth it, I promise you. Next up is Batman The Telltale Series. This is a five part graphic novel adventure as you take the role of Batman and Bruce Wayne. Just in case you're wondering, you will indeed receive the entire season. All five episodes are yours to download throughout January. The gameplay mechanics are split into three distinct areas. The first is point and click movement. The second is multiple choice options, such as acting aggressively or a little more passive. The third element are those quick time events requiring us to quickly press buttons before unpleasant things happen to the Caped Crusader. But there's also a fourth area which sets the game apart from other Telltale titles. As Batman is the greatest detective the world has ever seen, you will visit crime scenes and manually piece together all the clues. It's exceptionally satisfying, it really is. This version of Batman's universe is unique from many of the films and comics you've seen. The way Bruce meets and interacts with characters like the Joker and Vicky Vale will change your viewpoint on those individuals and offers a different perspective on many supervillains too, if only for a fleeting moment. Like you'd expect with an episodic adventure, there are multiple endings to each episode, although frustratingly most of your actions have no consequence in the slightest. If you can get past that, then this is a great story adventure, showcasing Batman in a different light than you're used to. Fellow PlayStation Virtual Reality owners, our additional free game is Star Blood Arena. This is a first person arena shooter in which you pilot one of nine ships and shoot the shit out of everything and anyone you can find. The single player is only really here as a training mode for the real game which is all about cooperative and multiplayer mayhem. So if you've never tried an arena shooter in PSVR, then download this and give it a try. And if you don't have PSVR yet, download it anyway. You never know what the future holds. A quick note, That's You is still available, but we've covered that so many times in previous months, so let's move on to the PS3. Over on the PS3, we have the Hack and Slashathon Sacred 3. After your ruler, Lord Zane, allies himself with demons and opens up an underworld, you and your hero pals decide to put things right and slaughter tens of thousands of enemies. There's not really much more to say about this, what you see is what you get, but it seems to have very mixed reviews, with most trusted sites awarding Sacred between 4 and 6 out of 10. The Book of Unwritten Tales also appears on the PS3 and follows the story of Fantasyland Adventasia. It's another point and click adventure which we've received a huge amount of recently on PS Plus. Take control of a mage, an elf princess, a furry alien or a good old narcissistic human and learn about the world's heritage. Anybody still playing these types of games? I would love to know. On the Vita we have yet another visual novel, this month in the shape of Psychopaths Mandatory Happiness. Set in a dystopian future Japan where people are imprisoned for crimes they haven't even thought about yet. You will control two characters, I cannot pronounce their names so I won't even bother. One is searching for their loved one and the other has a bout of amnesia. 
If you watch the anime, this could be a great addition as it runs parallel to the broadcast show. And finally, the last game for January 2018 is available on both Vita and the PS4, Uncanny Valley. Don't let the visuals push you away. Uncanny Valley is a survival horror outing with an unsettling story at its core. Playing as Tom the security guard on a night shift, you explore a huge facility with a flashlight to keep you company. Already torn apart by his own nightmares, Tom now has to live them out. Sounds absolutely lovely, doesn't it? So there we have it, eight PS Plus titles for January 2018. What are you grabbing this month? For me, I'm going to try a pacifist playthrough of Deus Ex and an aggressive playthrough of Batman the Telltale series where I'm going to make Bruce Wayne a complete dick. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.